investors all over the world are betting on interest rates coming down in the second part of 2023. Everybody is assuming the rate hikes that are expected into May, June of this year. And certainly the Fed is likely to raise rates to 5%, the euro uh, area to about 3.5%. We all assume that. What is the problem? The problem is that the market right now is betting heavily on interest rates coming down in the second part of the year. And that's why we see such big discrepancies in the bond market with different levels of maturity in the two to six years uh, in the curve, such massive uh, levels of uh, discrepancies between what one would assume would be logical if we followed what central banks have said that they will do. However, think about this for a second. If central banks are following their rate path, as they have said, and we see a small improvement in economic growth estimates because of the reopening of China and the Eurozone, therefore, not entering into a recession. If we see all that, central banks are not going to cut rates in the second half of the year. Certainly not. And what that also means is that the expectations of elevated inflation, particularly core inflation, are likely to continue. So be very aware of betting on a big rate cut from June to December, because it seems very unlikely. Either we get into a deep recession, which is certainly not what people are having in their numbers, or what we are going to see is certainly elevated rates for longer. That means that rate hikes will, be, will reach a peak around June, but then they will stay where they are for a few years. Remember, Fed officials are already saying for a few years.